The Profit Point, in association with Dan Gote. Welcome back. Passionate about cars since their childhood, two brothers in Tunisia decided to make the leap and launch their own brand in 2006. Since then, Wally's car has produced over 2,000 vehicles. It hasn't been easy, and we caught up with one of the co-founders to find out about the road to success. The first inspiration for starting a project like Wally's car in Tunisia, it's my passion for car industry since I was young and the love of my country, trying to do something great in my country. I am Ziad Giga, founder of Wallis Car Company in Tunisia since 2006. I had the chance with my brother Omar to meet Mr. René Bosch, who is an old car manufacturer in France. We meet this person in an island called Wallis and Futuna. That's why the company name is Wallis Car. René Bosch actually explained us that we can start a car industry with small amount of investment. So I jumped on this opportunity. It was hard at the beginning because I'm not an engineer. René Bosch helped us with his know-how, with his contacts, with his network to start this business in Tunisia. And my part was to convince shareholders, to convince the ecosystem, to convince the supplier to work with us in this new challenge for us. We wanted to make an affordable car, reliable, with a, a design that reminds us the beach, the leisure resorts area. So it was a fun car. When we started the business in 2006, the Tunisian administration didn't understand the fact that Tunisians are going to make cars in Tunisia, so we didn't have the legal framework to do it. So they gave us the license to do it, but under one condition, it was to be 100% uh, uh, exporter. So when we started, we made a Tunisian car, Tunisian brand, designed and manufactured in Tunisia, but it has to be sold in Europe. So we, we exposed our cars in 2008 and 2012 in Paris Auto Show, which is one of the biggest auto show in the world. There is 1.3 million people visiting this auto show. When it was approved by the French regu regulator, uh, it was a big sense of pride to be there as Tunisian, as African, to be the only car brand uh, certified for Europe. 2017 and 2018 are uh, the most profitable years for us. So it took us uh, a few years almost a decade to be, to be precise, to start being really profitable. When we started the business, we hoped to sell 50 cars a year. We never thought that we could make so much car and sell it across the world, and to sell it not as the least expensive car in the market, but affordable car. So we are in a niche market. We are not in competition with the, the well-established and the old car manufacturer, we are working in car segment where they are not present. We try to be more flexible and more close to our client, to have almost a personal relation with our clients in order to keep them with, with us and to, uh, to reta retain their, their satisfaction. So we have some investment opportunity to make micro plants, micro factory in countries such as Ivory Coast, Nigeria and Cameroon. We need to grow with raising capital, raising money and to invest it in the right direction, invest in the capacity of production so the company gets bigger and to manage our growth. Our goal is to make around 3,000 cars in the next few years and it's also to become a regional brand. Well, thanks so much for watching this edition of Marketplace Africa. Don't forget to catch our past stories on our website and take a look at our Facebook page. From me, Eleni Jokos, here in Johannesburg, 
I'll see you next time in the marketplace.